the first Division I college football game of the season. Kansas State, Mike Godfrey said they're a contender. Kansas State has two playmakers in the backfield. L. Roberson, their quarterback, may be the best running quarterback in Big 12 history. Uh, Darren Sproles is a great running back. I think he's the best running back in the country. Sounds like Cal should be a scared. First drive, L. Roberson to Sproles, and off he goes. He's fast. Your fans. 165 <laughs> yards of the game for Sproles. 10th straight 100-yard game. He later score to finish off the drive. 7-0 lead in favor of the Wildcats. Second quarter, K-State. Oh, the defense right there getting Reggie Roberts. Look at it again. Chance for the Bears to take the lead, but O number 7 going to shoot the gap and pull down the QB. On, they'll, they, they know how to defend the option there in the Big 12. I guarantee you that. KSU takes over. Second quarter, 27. Roberson, James Terry, all in the magic beat. Well, there's open, there's wide open, and then there's that poor fella. 57-yard touchdown. That's candy in a top-10 nominee. Third quarter, Roberson with 257 yards passing. He was going to run for 11, get six more. Kansas State, easy, 42-28, an opening W for L and company. Just how long is a multi-game suspension? Well, a source at Ohio State tells the Cleveland Plain Dealer that'd be six games. Race Claret out a half a dozen games, three for violating NCAA rules and three for giving false statements to campus police about the break-in to his borrowed car. Well, let's check the schedule. Ohio State's first six games, not going to be easy, even though five of them are at home. You can do that when you're the big school. Bucks will kick off against Washington, 19th ranked team in the country. Next big test comes in their first ever meeting with NC State in their first road game in until October 11th when they'll face an always tough, always tough. We don't need no stinking badgers. 